We're 10,000 feet above sea level, 10,000 feet closer to heaven, 10,000 feet closer to Vanessa and Tim. After all, this is the reason, they are the reason why Kelly and Phil chose this magnificent location. Vanessa was indeed an outdoors person. She loved to hike and bike and camp and garden, anything and everything to do with the great outdoors. And of course, all of us who are blessed to have known Tim knows that to him, whether it was his home, table at a restaurant, a hotel room, a golf course, it was always all about the view. <laughs> there have been several moments that have led to this moment. The moment you transferred to San Francisco. The moment we started our new jobs together. The moment we both signed up for kickball. <laughs> the moment we moved into the same neighborhood. The several moments we kept running into each other. The moment you asked me to walk to work with you. The several moments you waited outside my door so patiently <laughs> as I finished getting ready. <laughs> the moments our conversation picked up exactly where it left off every time we saw each other. At the moment we both realized how similar our values and dreams are. The moment we conveniently stumbled upon an apartment for rent on our favorite street. The moment you asked dad for my hand in marriage and he said, hell yes. <laughs> the moment we shared losing a parent and the several moments you helped me to cope. The moment you asked me to be your wife on our favorite run. The moment we fell in love with Telluride. The moment we packed our bags and moved to Boulder. Every moment I feel 100% my authentic self with you. Every moment you bring out the best in me. Asking you to walk to work was the best decision I've ever made. The morning of, I was nervous, wondering what I would say rehearsing my high. <laughs> Didn't want to seem too anxious or excited. You know, hi, hi. <laughs> Talking to Chinese people as they walk by as you lived in Chinatown. So, um, you, you walked out and you gave me that big smile that I see right now. And you asked if I wanted to get coffee. And I lied because I don't drink coffee. And I said, yes, of course. <laughs> uh, uh, but right away you put my nerves to rest and we were off and running. We never looked back from there. Your sweet, kind, loving spirit came shining through. And I knew after that first walk, I was in trouble because you had me and I was gonna have to do whatever I could to give it to you, to be with you. From that day, my love for you has grown every day. Your kindness warms me, your energy amazes me, and your love inspires me. Now I'm not going to give like a quick jab here and say I'm always going to have my eye on you. Or like that. Uh, this is a little bit different for for any guys in the room who were the only boy and grew up with older sisters. You know what a treasure they are, right? It's, they're just yeah, the best. I mean, what guy doesn't love growing up uh, getting dressed up for home videos? Who's dating who? Watching chick flicks? I mean, it's it's a dream come true. 
Um, my point being, Phil, I don't want to uh, welcome you to our family. Um, I want to thank you. <laughs> Um, I couldn't be more excited to have you as a brother. We can do brotherly things. Like we we're just talking about, maybe have a catch. Cool. I remember when Kelly started talking about you. The guy she was walking to work with, with the beautiful blue eyes. I heard about these all the time. And while you do have a ton of amazing attributes, my favorite is how you treat my sister. You are her biggest champion and best friend and, and number one fan, and I love it. And honestly, it's sometimes at the cost of my own helpfulness. <laughs> because I think the last time Kelly really pushed back on me was a slight misunderstanding of the mini golf score in 1994 in Scottsdale. We have that on video. But once Phil came around, a new woman emerged who challenged my helpfulness in all the right ways, and I love it. And I'm very grateful for you. like the sun radiates light. I see it in your eyes first thing in the morning and when you kiss me goodnight. Both are the high points of my day. <coughs> you brighten up every room you walk into and for some reason, still unbeknownst to me and most of the people in this room, you picked me to be your husband. So, uh, I'm very grateful for that. So in front of our family and friends, these beautiful mountains, I vow to you to be kind, caring, understanding, patient, to hug you when you're having a bad day, to ask for your help, to make your coffee in the morning, sometimes reluctantly, um, to tell you you're beautiful every day, beautiful today especially, to love you and be the man you deserve. by your family and friends, I have the pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. San Francisco to see Phil. Um, it was one of those things where, 
you know, Phil had gone out to San Francisco, um, just kind of going out in the world and seeing what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, we worried about him a lot. He was a couple states away from us. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're going out there to visit him. And he kind of threw in there, oh, yeah, by the way, I've had a girlfriend for like three months. <laughs> and uh, we came out there and met her, and uh, she was just great. As soon as Kelly came into the picture, I was like, okay, Phil's going to be all right. <laughs> Phil, um, unfortunately, I, I never had the opportunity to meet mom. But I have had the pleasure of hearing all about her. And I am absolutely positive she would be so stoked that her son was back in Colorado marrying the woman of his dreams on a mountaintop. Um, our dad, Tim Shock, and anybody who knew him knew he loved a good wedding and a good party. Um, Kel, it's, uh, it's unfair he's not giving this speech right now. But uh, he loved you more than anything. And I know how much he loved Phil. So uh, trust me when I say he was with you every step of the way walking down that aisle with you and Mom. And he's here now cheers in you. That vodka martini in hand. Kettle one. Straight up extra olives. 